Netcasts you love. From people you trust. This is Twit. Uh, we got an email from a viewer uh, not so long ago, a couple of weeks ago, saying, Hey, I have a Xiaomi Mi 4. Uh, this is a, a, a phone, a smartphone that's available only in China. Xiaomi got a lot of attention when Google's Hugo Barra left Google to go run Xiaomi. And many think uh, it's a really up-and-coming uh, phone company, but you can't get their phones yet in the U.S. We thought we'd uh, get it for Jason Howell, so he, uh, host of All About Android, so he could review it. And I think he likes it. There's the Mi 4. I mean, we just got this yesterday. By the way, that gentleman is Pete Lambros. He's the one that reached out to us and uh, gave us the invite. I guess when he bought one through an importer, uh, they ended up charging him and sending him two of them. Oh. He was like, well, I can either return it for a fee, or if you want it, I already have it, so I'll sell it to you for what I paid for How it. much was it? Uh, $470, $480, okay. right around so there. So it's less expensive than a traditional feature. Uh, yes, exactly. Although if you're in China, uh, buying this unlocked is $320 equivalent. Okay. So it's a pretty low-cost uh, device. It, and It yeah. may be called the Me Too. It looks very similar to an iPhone. Yeah, you know, it's interesting. I, I, I've only had it, like I said, for about 24 hours now, and I have to say my initial impression is that this is a really awesome device. Um, I'm, I'm super impressed with it. Uh, it does take a lot of design cues, both on the software and the hardware. Uh, looking fr you know, t at the front of it, it looks a lot like an iPhone. Or a Samsung a little bit. you know. Yeah, it, well, exactly. And particularly on the back. The back looks kind of like a Samsung mm -hmm. backplate. Of, of some type. So it's kind of, uh, you know, sandwiched together between, you know, th maybe the things that work for other manufacturers. Uh, Xiaomi just seems to be really good at kind of taking some of those features and uh, making it their own. The thing is, like, when you look at a device like this on video, you know, my initial reaction before I had it in hand was, oh, it looks like a knockoff. I bet that's a kind of a cheap device. It does, it does, doesn't it? Yeah. But man, when you when you use this device, I can honestly say I have not used an Android device that's as snappy and responsive as this one is. And it's running Xiaomi's own version of Android, forked version called MIUI. And it's just, everything feels super fluid. You can see it's different than the normal Android kind of layout. Apps are, are uh, arranged on, you know, sideways as opposed to in an app drawer, which kind of mimics the way it's done on iOS. This looks very much like iOS, yeah. Yeah, yeah, there's a lot of similarities, but uh, it's really cool. So what I'm, what I'm doing today, obviously I've only had it for 24 hours, so I'm gonna be playing with it for the next week, and I'll do a full review next week. But I think what's interesting here is kind of what makes this important, right? You said that it's, you know, Xiaomi is a Chinese manufacturer, Chinese company. You can't really get this device in the States unless you go through some sort of an importer, which is Which you can do. I mean, people Which you do can that. do, we and you one. can go online and you could find it right now uh, for around $470, $480. Uh, and that's unlocked. And still, how this device, this hardware, compares to the top of the line devices like the Galaxy S5 right now. I mean, in my, in my time with this, I, I would choose this over the S5. And it's still less say, expensive. At 480, it's still a great deal. It's a beautiful screen. The it, screen is I think phenomenal. you can even tell in the video that it's it's very solid and crisp. It's a 5-inch screen, 1920 by 1080p IPS LCD at 441 pixels per inch. Mm. So, I mean, the, the resolution is just out of this world, and it's super sharp and vibrant. It's just really an impressive thing to uh, to see. But so, not unique. I mean, the same as yeah, the sure. HTC One or the Galaxy S5. Sure, sure. But, uh, yeah, I mean, you know, I guess ultimately when you get to that kind of high pixels you expect per inch, that. Right. yeah, you, ho you hope for that. And I just, I, I'm always wanting to have a reason to turn on this display because it's so beautiful. It is quad core, but it's a yep. 80, 800, not an 801. No, it's an 801. Oh, it is an 801. It is 2.5 okay. gigahertz quad core Snapdragon 801 with three gigs of RAM. So, I mean, okay. it's screaming. When I'm playing games on here, it has a couple of different modes versus like, um, you know, kind of a battery efficient mode versus full power. And uh, it has a 3,080 milliamp hour battery. Oh, that's big. And the, the battery so far has been really great. I, I turned it on full power, and today I've been running on that. And I mean, you can hardly see any dent in my battery. Of course, I've been here where there's plenty of Wi Fi and everything. Um, this particular model only runs on, like, I, I'm on LTE and I have my SIM in there, but it's a 3G phone here in the States. The only ah. place you're going to get LTE is in China. The on frequencies their, are wrong. Yeah, LTE TBA in okay. China. They are coming out with a version of this later this year. I'm, I'm, 
I'm aware of that uh, will be compatible with we, other LTE. We were a little concerned that you would be in Chinese, but apparently you can have it. You set that in and English. set up. Okay. Yeah, it gives you, you know, it defaults to Chinese. The very first screen you set, you see when you uh, factory reset is select your language. Right. And uh, everything kind of falls in line. But uh, yeah, you know, it's a really interesting device. In, in China, Xiaomi is the number one OEM. Uh, their phones are priced nearly at cost, narrow profit margin. They're, they're looking to make money off the ecosystem, things like themes. You can go into their theme store and you can use uh, Mi points that you purchase, kind of like Xbox points, right? Uh, where you purchase points and then you can you know, find all these different themes and apply them and everything. So they're not a carrier, they're a manufacturer. Manufacturer, exactly. Okay. Are they on on China Telecom, all the, all the Chinese yeah, carriers? Yeah, yeah, they're, they're, yes, predominantly. This is the phone. In, yes, exactly. Yeah. Um, their devices are sold for 18 months. That's to maximize profit. Yeah. And available through their site, they do flash sales. So for example, today, the Mi 3, which is the one before this one, had a flash sale of 20,000 devices to India, sold out in less than three seconds. What? <laughs> it took three wow. seconds for 20,000 people to add it to their cart, basically right. is what that means. Now, the Mi UI, um, so people go crazy for these devices. The Mi UI operating system is based on Android. You yes. said no Google services. No though. Google services. However, if you go to the Mi market, there is an app that allows you to install the Play Store. Oh. And it does get updated from Google once it's installed, so it passes that security kind of checkpoint on Google's part. And then you can uh, get any Play yeah, Store. So app. I've got I've created a folder here with all of my Google apps, and they're all oh, in there, and they're updating through the Play Store and everything. So. Um, so yeah, that was one of the first things that I did. So it's an interesting device, and I'm really looking forward to, you know, to playing with it. The build quality is just top notch, uh, super snappy, the screen's incredible. Uh, so far, I'm really digging it. It's an interesting mix, which we don't see much in the US, of metal and plastic. Yeah. Metal in, the, it is a metal case. Stainless steel. But it, just, that's kind of beautiful. Yep. But then it's got a plastic back, which I it think does. Is, but it's not a hollow plastic back. You know, like what I'm realizing now is not all plastic is created equal, right? Yes. There's some plastic phones that feel like a toy, and then there's some plastic. You know, even the One Plus One, that's a plastic backing, but it feels premium. It's yeah. just a different yeah. type of plastic they've done right, and this done right. I, I think it feels really great. What do we know of their plans to sell in the U.S.? Well, that's the tricky part, right? There is so much here that if this was sold in the U.S., you can, I mean, there's lawsuit written all over it. So I think Xiaomi has a lot to overcome if they plan on entering the U.S. market. And part of the reason that they hired Hugo Barra from Google is because, you know, he is now the VP of International uh, at Xiaomi, and he's made no bones about the fact right. that their plan is to open it up. So maybe we'll see it someday. But they're gonna, you know, they're gonna have to tread lightly as far as their design uh, points are concerned. Because I mean, right down to these little details where it's kind of shaved on the side, it's kind of hard to see on video here. But it looks so much like the iPhone that yeah. it's just kind of uncanny. Um, Ron Amadio of Ars Technica also did a review. He's going to be on tonight's All About Android. We're oh, going to be talking about this. Oh, good. And he made just a really good point, which is that Xiaomi, as you know, as a creator of hardware, yes, their their designs are very derivative, but that doesn't make them bad. You know what I mean? Right. They do it really well. Right. They have derivative design that's that's executed really, really well. And that's you could argue about. everybody's deriving sure. something from everybody else at this point. There's sure. no uh, completely original phone. You wouldn't want it. Yeah. Oh, great, a phone shaped like a circle. I, you know. <laughs> I don't know. We may see that the someday Moto if people freak out as much as they do about the Moto 360. <laughs> All right, thank so, you, Jason Howell. Yeah. We'll see more tonight on All About Android. Yes. And next week, a full review of the Xiaomi Mi 4. That's right. Yeah, we know you can't get it in the U.S., but we're first of all, we I mean, are seen all can. over the world, even in China. And yes, second of all, you can. Yeah. Just, you just you have to go through LTE, a few hoops to do it. And that's something important to consider, no yeah. LTE.